Thank you for your purchase of the ClearClick Video to Digital Converter 3.0. In this video, we'll show you how to get started with this system. But first, please use the link under this video to register your product to extend your warranty by one year for free. Okay, let's get started. By the way, if you want to follow along with this video step by step, keep in mind you can pause it and resume it at any time. The first step is to plug in and charge your converter using the included USB cable and wall adapter. After a few seconds, the device will start up and show the charge level. To fully turn on the device, press and hold the power button. Next, plug in a USB flash drive or micro SD card. Most USB drives should be inserted with the logo facing away from you. If you're using a micro SD card, Insert the card with the card's gold contacts facing you and insert the drive until it clicks in place. Please note, for best result, we highly recommend starting with a new unused SanDisk brand USB drive or micro SD card, 512 gigabytes or smaller. Generic or off-brand drives might not be fast enough to keep up with the converter and could cause audio-video sync problems. Below this video, you'll find links to some USB and micro SD drives that we recommend. Okay, next, we'll hook up your audio or video source. Let's cover video sources first. Plug in the included video transfer cable into the output ports of your VCR, camcorder, or other video source. Plug the other end into the video to digital converter, matching the color of the plugs to the color of the ports. Please note, some camcorders will require a 3.5 mm to AV cable or another specialized cable which is not included with the converter. Check your camcorder's user manual or contact us if you have any questions about which cable to buy. Also, some VCRs or camcorders will have an S-video port instead of a yellow video output port. If this is the case, Hook up an S-Video cable along with the white and red audio cables. In the converter's main menu, change the video source setting to S-Video. In some cases, your VCR or camcorder might only have one audio output jack. If this is the case, you will need an audio splitter cable to split the signal into two. See below this video for a link to this kind of cable. To hook up an audio source, such as a cassette player, Use the 3.5 mm to RCA cable included with the converter. Connect it from the headphone jack on your audio source to the input ports on the converter. To hook up an audio source, such as a turntable, just use the included AV cable, but only plug in the red and white connectors. Next, in the converter's main menu, set the converter's record audio or video setting to audio only. If you'd like, you can also change the audio recording format in the menu as well. Then press the menu to exit the menu. Please note, some turntables will require a preamp, otherwise the volume level will be too low. Okay, once you have your audio or video source hooked up to the converter, press play on your source. You should get audio and or video on your converter. If you don't, Make sure you have everything hooked up correctly. From the output ports of your source to the input ports of your converter. From our experience, if you still don't get audio or video, the issue is almost certainly with your audio or video source, that is your VCR or camcorder, and not the converter. For example, your VCR might need to be cleaned. See the link below this video for information about VCR cleaning. To double check if your video source is working correctly, try hooking it up directly to a TV. If you don't get a signal there either, that means your video source isn't working correctly. Anyway, if you do get audio and or video on the converter, you're ready to begin. To start recording, just press the record stop button. The converter will start recording your audio and or video to digital format. You'll see a recording timer in the top left corner of the converter. If you want to pause recording at any point, press the OK button. To resume recording, press the OK button again. When you're ready to stop recording entirely and save the recording, 
Simply press the record stop button again. Just a warning, do not unplug your USB drive or micro SD card until after you've stopped recording. Otherwise, the recording will be corrupted and will not be saved onto your drive correctly. Just a note, since you're recording from an analog audio or video source, the transfer has to occur in real time. There's no way to speed up the transfer. But there is one important feature of the converter that will save you time. The Auto Stop feature. This feature allows you to tell the converter when to stop recording automatically. In other words, this means you don't have to sit and supervise your transfer. You can just start recording and the converter will automatically stop at a preset amount of time. This feature will need to be set up before you start recording. Press the menu button and scroll down to Auto Stop and press OK. You can choose a presetting here or use the custom option to set an exact number of minutes. Then press the menu button to exit the menu. Now, just press the record stop button to start the recording and the converter will automatically stop recording by itself after the preset amount of time. After you've made one or more recordings, you can play back your recordings on the device if you'd like. To do this, leave your flash drive or micro SD card plugged in and press the mode button two times to get into playback mode. Assuming there are recordings on your drive, you'll see a screen like this. You can navigate through the recordings by pressing the right and left arrow keys. Please note, the recordings may appear out of the order that you recorded them in. To play a recording, press the OK button. To pause playback, press the OK button again. To exit a playback, hold down the OK button. Finally, if you want to delete a recording, hold down the Mode button. You can also play back recordings on your TV by connecting an HDMI cable to the HDMI out port and plugging the other end into your TV. By the way, this also works while you're recording too, so you can watch your videos on the big screen while they're being converted. To get back to recording mode, press the Mode button once or until you see the red camera icon in the top left corner of the screen. Finally, let's discuss how to transfer your recordings to your PC or Mac. This is the easy part. All you have to do is remove your USB or micro SD drive from your converter after you've stopped recording and plug it into your PC or Mac. The process is generally the same for PC and Mac. Just open or browse the drive as you would with any external drive on your computer. Navigate to the audio folder for audio recordings or the video folder for video recordings. You can double click on a recording to open and watch it. If you purchase the bundle edition of the converter, you can use the included VideoPad software to edit and burn DVDs of your recordings if you'd like. We've also included some links to DVD burning software below this video. Well, that's the end of this video tutorial. Just a note, if you would like a more detailed guide on the converter, please see the user's manual, which we've linked to below. And if you have any questions or issues, please contact us at support at clearclick.tech. Please include your order number in your email and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.